Hello, welcome once again to uh, Morgate Andrology. And today I want to talk about the risks of penis enlargement surgery. So if you're doing your research, if you're thinking about having penis enlargement surgery, then you'll want to know what the potential risks of penis enlargement surgery are. And today I want to give you an insight into what those are and how common they occur. So we'll assume in this video that you're thinking about having both the uh, penis lengthened and thickened at the same time. About 80% of all men that come to Morgate Andrology choose to have the penis lengthened or thickened, but uh, the risks will, you'll get the risks of both, even if you just want the penis lengthened or, or thickened. So let's start with the lengthening first. Now, when you've had uh, the penis lengthened, you will have a small cut at the base of the pubic area where the urologist access something called a suspensory ligament, which is something that um, uh, when divided helps to increase the flaccid length of your penis between one to two inches in most cases. Now, when you've had your uh, penis lengthened, you should expect afterwards some bruising, a little bit of swelling. This is a normal reaction after any surgery, including penis enlargement surgery. Uh, but this generally settles down after about a week or two and doesn't usually uh, give you any, any problems at all. Um, the, uh, the sutures are dissolvable, the stitches which were uh, used to close the little incision where we access the ligament. Uh, these are dissolvable sutures, so they drop out on their own in the following weeks. Now, in the lengthening surgery procedure, <clears throat> uh, the urologist will use something called a silicone buffer. This is an implant that's used to fill the space where the two ends of the ligament were divided. This buffer is really important because if, uh, if they don't use the buffer, then the two ends of the ligament can join up again and pull the penis back. If that happens, the, your penis will go back to the size it was, or even shorter in some cases. So the buffer is really important. Now, a very rare complication, and I stress this is very rare, a very rare complication is an infection which reaches the silicone buffer. If that happens, then the buffer has to be removed. You have to wait about three to six months and the buffer is replaced again. Now, this means that you would have to have two more uh, procedures uh, to put this problem right. Uh, and if that happened to you, uh, then obviously that's rather inconvenient to say the least. But uh, it's something that is written in the literature it's a very rare complication, but you need to know about it. And when you go for a consultation, the urologist will tell you about this potential uh, risk. Usually, if you have an infection, infections are about one to two percent of cases. Very, very low because you're given antibiotics both in the operating theatre and also you'll be given a course of antibiotics when you've had the surgery done and most infections are tend to be superficial skin infections which clear up with a with another course of antibiotics now let's move on to the uh, the girth aspect so when you've had the penis thickened um, uh, fat is taken from your belly is purified and injected into the shaft now at first when you've had the penis girth uh, enhancement your penis will look a bit awkward. It will look very big because the urologist transfers quite a lot of fat, uh, knowing that around 30% or so of this fat is going to absorb. This is very, very normal after uh, any fat transfer procedure. Not 100% of the fat survives. But once that fat is absorbed, then the remaining fat will stay in place, which is why it's very uh, the most common way to increase uh, penis girth because of its longevity. However, as the fat begins to break down initially, you, the urologist will show you how to massage your penis. 
because we want to keep that fat nice and even up and down the shaft. Now, sometimes you get small, what are called nodules or lumps and bump formations, which form as the fat begins to break down. And uh, usually these do settle down with massage. Occasionally, you may get the odd lump or bump that does not, and they can be treated with a, a steroid injection or, or, or the, the fat can be removed surgically. But again, most of the time, the fat does settle down. These lumps and bumps settle down on their own with massage. Another potential risk is tightening of the foreskin. And this is to be expected if you are not circumcised. In the first few weeks, the, the, the fat tends to migrate a little towards the uh, tip. And uh, because the foreskin, the skin there is very soft, it's easy for the fat to find its way. And in the first few weeks, that you might find it difficult to re retract the foreskin over the head of the penis. But again, with massage and with time over the six weeks, six to eight weeks later, this tends to settle. Now, in rare cases, this, uh, this tightening of the foreskin does not settle down. And in, in some cases, uh, a circumcision has to be performed at a later date to relieve this tight foreskin. Again, that's uh, not a common complication, but again, you need to be aware of it. And after the, uh, after the lengthening procedure, one thing I, I should mention to you is the angle of the erection can be slightly lower, usually by about 10 degrees because of the uh, effect of, of, of dividing the suspensory ligament. The lateral parts of the ligament remain intact, so the penis does remain upright, but the angle is slightly lower. When you're looking down at your penis, you probably won't notice any difference at all, but that is a, uh, is a side effect of having the lengthening surgery. Now, when you have a consultation with a urologist, obviously he's going to go through these potential risks of penis enlargement surgery with you. So you have a full picture and a full understanding of everything, uh, everything you need to know. Now, if you want to know more about penis enlargement surgery or the risks of penis enlargement surgery, do get in touch with us here at Morgate Andrology. Uh, we're happy to see you. We offer a free WhatsApp video consultation with our urologist so you can get all the information that you need. That's all from me today. I look forward to seeing you back here at Morgate very soon. Until then, bye for now.